Today we're looking at the all new Zinger 390 DB. As we come inside the new Zinger 390 DB, one thing customers and dealers were asking for was two bedrooms, two full baths, which is hard to find in a travel trailer. That's exactly what the Zinger is. Up front, you'll see a king bed slide out with a washer dryer capability closet, its own master bathroom. You still get a large living room space. And in the back half of the unit, you're gonna have a queen bed with its own full bath. The nice thing on this floor plan too is there's three entry doors. You have your glass slider door for your main walk-in to the coach, and then each bedroom will have its own door separate so that way people aren't going through the whole unit just to get to either your bathroom or bedroom. Three access points, which makes this floor plan a little bit different than others out in the field. Uh, kind of starting in the kitchen area here, you're gonna have seamless countertops in your zinger here with matching sink covers. Gives you more prep space, but you will have a double bowl stainless steel sink with a pull-out sprayer faucet, standard in all your Zinger models. You're gonna have large overhead doors in the kitchen area. Gives you a lot of cupboard space, and you'll, you'll see a pantry here in a minute. But in the kitchen area, you're gonna have your glass top on your three burner range with your standard oven for Zinger here, along with pull-out drawers, three of them, and still storage space underneath your, your kitchen sink here. So a lot of storage space even just in your kitchen base. You will have a 10 cubic foot refrigerator, which is all 12 volt. It's a, it's a glass front, which is nice uh, because a lot of stainless steel doors, uh, if they swing open and hit something, they ding and dent real easy. With the glass front, that's why we made that change. It's a little more durable for our customers out in the field. Another thing that's gonna be standard in this model is your 50 inch TV. That's on the pull out swivel bracket. It's got a mechanism that locks into place when you're in transit or if you just want it in a fixed position like this. But if you are sitting in your slide out, you can pull it out, angle it back to where you're sitting. You have your sound bar, which is gonna be standard. It's Bluetooth uh, capable with clickable AB zones for your outside speakers. We'll see here in just a few minutes. Another thing that's gonna be standard in the 390 dB is your 30 inch fireplace. It's got a no heat setting, which is gonna be like what you see here, but it does have a high and a low setting. So if you are camping in a colder climate, it's a little cool out. You turn it on your high setting, it'll heat up to 500 square feet. The nice thing there is all electric. You don't have to run your furnace and run your propane just to warm the unit up. That's a great feature that's gonna be standard in your bigger zingers here. As we move towards the front of the unit, which is gonna be the master bedroom, a couple things you're gonna pass is your thermostat for your main air conditioner. It's a 15,000 BTU. You're also gonna have a secondary 13.5,000 BTU uh, because a unit this size with three slides and the amount of square feet, you're definitely gonna want two ACs, which is standard on this model. Another thing is your water heater control. Uh, this is where you're gonna set your temperature. It's a tankless on-demand water heater, so you don't have to have dual source, it's just gonna be propane, but it's gonna give you that instant hot water. So if you're taking multiple showers with a model like this being two full baths, uh, that's something you're gonna want that's standard in all of our Zinger product. As we open this door, you're gonna come into your master bathroom. A couple things in here is your toilets. Everything in Zinger is gonna be a porcelain foot flush toilet. We don't use any plastic toilets in our product. You're gonna have a nice big linen closet, which is gonna give you a lot of depth and shelves, and you're gonna have two pull-out drawers. So all your linens has a designated spot for it. You're also gonna have your corner shower, which gives you your glass doors. So it's still gonna give you a lot of room. And in all of our bathrooms, you're gonna have two exhaust fans. One's gonna be a power, one's gonna be a non-power. Uh, that's just gonna help this area get air and hot air out of here if you need to uh, quickly. You're also gonna have a full medicine cabinet with storage underneath your sink as well. So even in a you know, bathroom in the RV here, uh, you're gonna have a lot of storage space. As we step into the master bedroom of the 390 dB, you're gonna get a lot of space up here. Again, this is where the 13.5 AC is gonna be uh, located for that second AC unit. Uh, but a lot of space. You're gonna see a king bed in here. Uh, another thing is you're gonna have a lot of storage space. Up front, you got your slider glass doors, gives you a shelf up front. It's also gonna give you a hanging rod across the length of that closet. Behind me here, 
is either a closet or it's prepped for a washer dryer, which you can fit a stackable unit in here. Again, a unit like this is probably sitting down for an extended period of time. That's a must have. Uh, whether or not you're traveling or not, it's a, it's a nice feature to have incorporated into the unit. You're gonna have a spot for, to mount your TV directly across from where you're sleeping. And that sits right above where you're gonna have three drawers to give you a lot of storage space for all your clothes or things that you're folding for your bedroom. Underneath all your bed slides, you're gonna have extra storage space, which this, this bed will stay up with two gas struts, so you don't have to struggle to hold it up, uh, but it's just a large space for stuff you're not using all the time. It gives you an easy access point for it. There is a divider wall because on the outside of the unit, there's a baggage door for outside storage as well. We'll see that in a few minutes. Above your bed, you're gonna have a window, which is nice because in our bedrooms, you're always gonna have a cross breeze. You're gonna have functional windows. So when you are camping on a nice day, open them up, have a nice cross breeze coming through the unit. Above it, you're gonna have your nightstands designated for both sides, along with 110 and USB ports for phones or whatever you're plugging in at night. And you'll also always have storage uh, above with the two doors. Just again, more storage space uh, is something that you can never have enough of in an RV. Uh, as we step out of the master bedroom and head back towards the living room, we'll check out a, a couple more features. As we move back into your living room kitchen area, another thing I wanted to point out is our monitor panel and all of our switches. It's all located in one spot, so all your slide outs are one, two, and three. This unit has two awnings, so you'll have two switches for each awning independently, and then interior lights and all your tank readings to see how full each individual tank is. It's nice because everything's located in one spot for our customers, always by an entry door. Another thing that I, we came in the unit was you always have an extra storage door here, so if you have little things that are going in and out of the unit a lot, it's just a nice, easy spot to have extra storage. As we move back into the living room space, you're gonna have a jackknife sofa standard, uh, which will give you the seating, but also function as a bed. Underneath uh, all of our jackknife sofas, you'll have a handle here that will drop this down and give you an easy access point for storage or things that you're pulling in and out of the coach or blankets and pillows you're not using all the time. It's just a quick, easy uh, storage that we give our customers. This unit uh, that we're in specifically is showing the table and chair option one of the very few options we have in this model. If you don't want the table and chairs, no problem. We can put a boost standard in here, uh, which will give you storage underneath each base, and the table will go down and make into an extra sleeping space if that's what you're looking for. Uh, but this is a common option that we see in this particular model. As we step further back past our refrigerator, you're gonna have a big linen and uh, you know pantry area off your kitchen. Uh, gives you a lot of storage space. It's very deep, multiple shelves. Uh, gives you a lot of storage, again, uh, something you can't lack. Underneath that is kind of a uh, new thing for us. It's an extra mini fridge. So if you're just keeping your kids, you know, waters, pop, juice, whatever it is, kind of gives you a spot for all that, those items, and it frees up your main fridge space. So it's giving you, this is a four and a half cubic foot and a 10 cubic foot. It's giving you a lot of fridge space in this coach. As we step through now, we're into the second bedroom, second bathroom area. So in this particular bedroom area, you're gonna have your own entry door again, but now we're seeing a queen bed back here. So just a smaller version of what we saw up front. You're still gonna have the functional window with a window across from it to give you a cross breeze, the same shelves in the corner with 110s and USBs, storage space over the top, uh, and you're still gonna have the storage space underneath the bed on this, on this bed slide as well. Another spot to mount a TV directly across from where you're sleeping, but a lot of storage space. So you have six drawers that are gonna give you a lot of space, and you're still gonna have a hanging closet, uh, which is slightly smaller than up front, but still giving you a lot of space to, to kind of place your items. As we take a few more steps back, it's gonna be the second full bath. So again, we use porcelain toilets and olive zinger. We don't use plastic, uh, but you're gonna have storage space underneath a sink, a medicine cabinet, another linen closet tucked on the back wall here, and you're still gonna have a 30 by 36 shower, which I'm about six foot, so even as I step up into it, it's still gonna give you plenty of headroom. And again, even in this bathroom, we have two exhaust fans back here for you. So gives you a lot of space in that second bedroom that you're not gonna find in most brands. 
As you come out of the 390 DB, you're gonna see you have two large awnings. This is a 42 and a half foot unit overall length. You're getting tons of awning coverage. So all your entry doors are covered, almost a whole unit. And a lot of people, what they're doing with this specific style of unit is sitting it down at a campground, permanent spot, um, where they're gonna have a deck or a patio. This is gonna give you a lot of shade on this unit, which is something that's unique for us. So on this, we have three retractable steel steps. Reason why is because these, these can retract in and you can step right out of the unit onto your deck if that's your setup that you have uh, with this particular unit. Folds right back out and you have your steps if that's the way you're using them. Uh, you always have a large grab handle on your main entry door. On your secondary doors, you'll have a smaller handle. You can always add a larger handle. Um, it's just one thing on your main doors where you'll find it standard for me at the factory. Another thing you're gonna find on your Zinger is up front, you're gonna have blind spot detection prep, uh, which is supplied by Furion. So the brackets there, uh, along with the backup camera prep of Furion, that is a common thing that a lot of customers were asking for where we'd at least prep it. So if they do wanna buy the kit, uh, it plugs into the truck, they mount the cameras, it gives you the blind spot detection, along with the rear view camera when you're backing up at your house or at the campground. We do have our extreme weather package, meaning our underbellies are enclosed and heated. It is a true forced air heat. So we don't classify as a four season camper, uh, but if you are camping into, uh, you know, longer into the year in a colder climate, uh, running your furnace, it'll blow hot air and help warm your tanks and pipes. You're gonna have your dog leash holder uh, and a paw print's gonna be a bottle opener. Uh, so it's something that again, it's gonna be located right on your main entry door. Another thing in our skirt metal that a lot of customers don't know what it is right offhand, uh, it's a slide out override. This is a rack and pinion through frame slide. A very reliable and tried and true slide system. It comes with a hand crank tool. So if you ever lose power, something happens, you're not stranded. You're not looking for an override. It's very quick and easy to bring these slides in. You'll have one per slide out. So on this coach, you have three designated on this unit. Another thing you'll see is this freshwater quick drain. The nice thing with this, listening to customers, is if you ever want to drain your fresh tank, if you're leaving the campground, you want to empty it, whatever it is, it's strictly a pull valve right here that'll drop all that water out in under two minutes if the tank is completely full. You don't have to have it go through a low point drain. So that is something that was customer feedback that we incorporated into all of our Zinger models. Underneath our wheel wells, it's going to be galvanized steel. Uh, that's something that we've done for years. It's on every model. Uh, th that's a high traffic area when you're in transit. It just gives you extra strength in those wheel well areas. Underneath your, your awnings, you're always going to have your plugins, your 110s, and for a TV, if you wanted to put a table out here and have a TV, it's always going to be covered by the awning. Your outside speakers, again, are standard on our, on our Zinger product. So when you hook up to your soundbar inside, you can have your music outside controlled by your phone. As we pass kind of our rear entry door here to that back bedroom and bathroom area that we saw inside, uh, we're gonna pass on this unit, you're gonna have your manual stabilizer jacks. Uh, a little better setup for a unit that isn't moving a lot. On our smaller zingers uh, that aren't designated our park style, you'll have electric stabilizer jacks, which are gonna be push button. But on the back, you're always gonna have a spare tire, which is standard on every model that we build for zinger along with a rear ladder. On all of our Zingers, doesn't matter the size or floor plan, it always comes standard with a rear ladder. We want you to be able to get up there on your roof and check seals, uh, do any roof maintenance. Uh, if something gets stuck, uh, it's gonna be from us at the factory out of the gate on all of our models. Another thing is you're gonna have a flush kit on every Zinger that we're building. Um, you're gonna have black tank flush, so you hook a hose up, Turn it on, water's gonna flow into your black tank and help rinse it out and give you a more uh, clean black tank, but it'll also help clean the sensor to give you more accurate tank reading on the inside from that control panel we saw earlier. As we kind of pass our power uh, insert here, which this will come with a detachable power cord on every model being 50 amp service, you're gonna pass that water heater. Again, this is a tankless on-demand water heater. Uh, so you don't have to worry about pulling out an anorod stick, um, doing any of that type of maintenance there. Uh, this is a, a kind of a superior thing we've switched to over the past six months. 
As we continue down, again, underneath that bed slide that I pointed out earlier is where you're gonna have that outside storage from that divider wall. So you'll have, you know, if you're putting chairs, things like that, you got a nice spot for it uh, underneath the back bed. And as we kind of go forward, um, you're gonna see it again, the exact same style and setup under the king bed as well. Also on all of our models, you're gonna have your outside shower. The nice thing with our outside shower is that door will flip down and you have hot and cold water with a four foot hose and a shower head. Uh, so again, if you're camping, you're rinsing stuff off, kids' feet, pots and pans, whatever it may be, it's nice to have that outside shower standard on the product. As we move around to the front of the coach, you're gonna pass another outside baggage door for extra storage space, which leads us up to the front of the coach. You're gonna see a manual tongue jack on this uh, park style model for us. Uh, again, because these aren't moving all the time, uh, on your smaller zingers without a patio door, it'll be an electric tongue jack. You still have your two twin uh, 20 pound bottles with a cover, standard. And up here is what we call our giggy box. It's all of our connections onto the frame. It's a clean, easy, waterproof uh, kind of application. But the nice thing here is that you have your built-in battery disconnect. So when you're done camping, if you want to leave your batteries on board, you don't have to worry about them draining. All you have to do is turn this off or on and it'll cut all power to the coach. So that's a nice built-in application that's standard on all of our travel trailers. Uh, and on the front, this is gonna be a two-piece metal, but it's a smooth front metal. It's a 0 .040 gauge metal, so it's a little thicker, more durable, kind of taking the brunt of the force going down the road and in transit. Uh, so it is more of a beefed up metal on the front of all your Zinger product. Uh, the th nice thing with this model is virtually everything's standard. Very few options on the dinette and table and chair, but we try to make everything standard out of the gate. So as a customer buys this unit, starts camping with it, they're not wishing they had all these extra options and features. It's all built into that initial uh, shipment from us at the factory. Uh, so this is the 390 DB if you have any other questions or need any uh, you know, help locating a dealer that has one in stock, give us a call at Crossroads RV or jump on our website.